All right, thanks, guys. For those who are wondering, uh, I've been relegated to the second TV in the living room because uh, Unky Brock is babysitting right now and SpongeBob is on the main screen. So uh, if you don't already know, uh, in my living room, we have two massive televisions, uh, one for sports and the other one for more sports. And uh, I am relegated to the second TV. So we don't have that queued up. We're just going to keep it blank. But anyway, guys, we got ourselves a nice slate of any, uh, NBA action here this Sunday. Uh, we did go, uh, we did go five and three yesterday in our premium selections on Patreon. Uh, that's going to put us at seven and one in our last eight board member package plays on that website. We also improved to 67% on the entire college football season on that site. Link for that site is in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock page. But guys, Unky Brock's got to get into this NBA slate. So uh, let's go into it uh, as Aiden is actually dribbling a basketball right now. A full-size basketball. And he fell down. All right, first game we have for you. It is going to be Nuggets taking on the Timberwolves. 3.30 Eastern tip-off in Minnesota. The Nuggets are minus 2.5 on the road. Totals at 217. Now, we did see a one-point move toward the Nuggies. And uh, the Nuggets, excuse me. And uh, movement downward on the total. <laughs> Denver open 1.5 up to minus 2.5. Total open 217 and a hook down to 217. 66% of the consensus are leaning toward, hey, we'll go with it. They're leaning toward the Nuggies, 73% shaded toward the over. Right now, Minnesota's plus $1.20 on the money line. Now, Minnesota's 5-3 and three overall in the year, 2-1 and one straight, up at, uh, two and one straight up at home. They are just one game back for first place in the Northwest Division. They rank in the top five in scoring. Now, Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 26 points a game, 12 rebounds, 4 assists. Andrew Wiggins, 25 points a game for him, 5 rebounds. Of course, big shot Bobby Covington. He's averaging 13 points a game, six rebounds. Minnesota ranks in the top 10 in offensive rebounding, top five in offensive rebounding at home. Teague and Napier are listed as questionable. Bell's questionable as well for the T-Wolves. Now Denver on the other side, they failed to cover in two out of their last four away from home. They also rank in the bottom 10 in scoring, bottom 10 in scoring on the road. Uh, a couple more things to add about Denver. They rank in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. They're also just 3-5 and five against the spread overall for the season. Now, total-wise, Minnesota 6-2 and two to the over on the year, 3-0 and oh to the over at home. I'm going to buy the hook, slide it up, and take Minnesota plus 3 in the over 217 in that game. All right, next matchup for the show. It is going to be Charlotte taking on the Sixers, 6 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Philadelphia. The Sixers are minus 13, totals 216. We saw a half-point fade of Philadelphia. And movement downward on the total. The Sixers open 13 and a half down to minus 13. Total open 216 and a half down to 216. 64% are leaning Sixers. 83% shaded toward the over. Right now the Hornets are plus 760 on the money line. Now Charlotte has lost their last two straight. They've also failed to cover in three out of their last four. They're four and five straight up overall for the season. Bottom 10 in scoring, bottom 10 in offensive rebounding. Nick Batum still out with that hand injury. Uh, now Philadelphia on the other side, they've successfully covered the number in four out of their last five. They're also 2-0 ATS at home. Joel Embiid is averaging 23 points a game, 12 rebounds. Uh, Tobias Harris, 19 points a game, nine rebounds for him. The Sixers rank in the top 10 in offensive rebounding, top three in defensive rebounding. They're also 10-0 straight up in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Charlotte. Now, if you're a fantasy player, uh, just keep in mind Ben Simmons is out with a shoulder injury, so he will not be playing tonight. Total-wise, Philadelphia 5-3 to the under on the year, 2-0 to the under at home. Charlotte on the other side, 5-4 to the under on the season. I'm going to lean toward the home favorite in this one. It's going to be Philadelphia minus 13 and the under 216 in that game. Next matchup. Indiana taking on the Magic, 6 o'clock Orlando. The Magic, minus 3.5, total 204. We saw a two-point move toward Orlando and movement upward on the total. The Magic open 1.5, up to 3.5, total open 203, up to 204. 53% are leaning toward Indiana, 71% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Pacers are plus 135 on the money line. Jeremy Lamb and Miles Turner out for tonight's action for the Pacers. Uh, 
Uh, Goga Badazi out as well for Indiana. The Pacers have failed to cover in three out of their last five. They're just three and six against the spread overall for the season, depending on where you're shopping at. Uh, they rank in the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding, bottom 10 in defending the three ball. Now, Orlando on the other side, they successfully covered the number in three out of their last four. Uh, successful covers over Memphis, Dallas, and Denver, the Nuggies in that uh, span there. They are 3-2 and two straight up at home, 3-2 and two against the spread in that same category. Nick Vucevic, 17 points a game, 11 rebounds. Evan Fournier, 15 points a game for the Magic as well. Now Orlando does rank in the top five in offensive rebounding, top three in points allowed. They're also top five in defensive field goal percentage. Now total-wise, Orlando 8-1 to the under overall for the season, 5-0 and to the under at home. I'm going to purchase the half a point. Slide it down and take the Magic minus three and the under 204 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and welcome you to uh, the program, Unky Brock's uh, show. Uh, got some lines and personalines out for Sunday's NBA action. But before we get into some more of that, just want to quickly remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash page. We do daily plays on that website, daily premium uh, personal selections on that site, beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different tiers, memberships, and packages that you can subscribe to. One of those packages being named the Board Member Package, where we are 7-1 in, in our last eight plays in that package. We're 7-1 in our last eight Board Member plays. We're also hitting at 67% for the entire college football season on that website. Uh, link for that site is in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash rockpage. Now, a lot of folks will ask me, what's the difference between Patreon and YouTube? And I always tell them, what we do on YouTube is we handicap every single game on the board, both the side and the total. We formulate an opinion and a pick on every single game on the board, side and total. Well, if you want to bet that way, you're never going to win. You're going to lose, and you're going to lose a lot of money. There's no way you can bet every single game, side and total, and expect to win. The books are too good. The math is always going to be against you. You will not win. But what we do on Patreon is we really dial it in and focus on three to four premium selections per, uh, per day. Those are my personal selections. Those are games that I personally uh, have action on. That's why we have two TVs in the living room, one in the kids' room, and two in uh, our bedroom. Uh, we, got, we, we have an overstock of televisions in this household, but uh, I should take them to the auction, but I just can't. Uh, but anyway, um, that's the difference. We do premium selections, and I'll tell you this much, guys. My win percentage on Patreon is a lot better than my win percentage on YouTube. Just can't have a good win percentage handicapping every single game. So uh, anyway, link for that site is in the description section below. I highly recommend you at least check it out. My current record's also on the homepage. That is patreon.com slash Brock page. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into some more NBA action. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Bucks taking on the Thunder. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Oklahoma City. The Bucks are minus 7 on the road, total 222.5. We saw a one-point fade of Milwaukee and movement upward on the total. The Bucks open 8, down to 7. Total open 219.5, up to 222 and a hook. 70% are leaning Milwaukee, 82% shaded toward the over. Right now, OKC is plus 250 on the money line. Now, OKC is 4-5 and five overall for the year. They're in fourth place in the Northwest Division. They failed to cover in their last two straight games, and they're just 2-3 and three ATS in their last five. OKC ranks in the bottom 10 in home scoring, bottom 5 in home defensive rebounding. Andre Roberson out and definitely with a knee. You know, unfortunately, uh, this Roberson uh, character always injured. Uh, Milwaukee on the other side, winners in four out of their last five. They're six and three overall for the year. First place in the Central Division. The rank of the top three in scoring, top three in offensive rebounding. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 29 points a game, 14 rebounds, seven assists for him. Chris Middleton right behind him with 19 a game for uh, 19 a game and six rebounds. Eric Bledsoe, 15 a game, six rebounds, five assists. Now, total-wise, Milwaukee is 67% to the under on the road. OKC, 6-3 to the under for the season, 5-1 to the under at home. I'm going to lean toward Milwaukee, minus 7, and the under 222.5 in that game. All right, next matchup, it is going to be Cavaliers taking on the Knicks, 730 Madison Square Garden. 
The Knicks are minus two, total 214. We saw a half a point fade of New York and movement upward on the total. The Knicks open two and a half, down the minus two. Total open 212 and a half, up to 214. 54% are leaning Cavaliers, 74% shaded toward the over. Right now, Cleveland is plus $1.10 on the money line. The Cavs have successfully covered the number in four out of their last five. They're also 6-2 and two ATS overall for this season. They rank the top five in offensive rebounding on the road, top 10 in points allowed on the road. Kevin Love has 19 points a game, 14 rebounds, 4 assists. Tristan Thompson is scoring 17 a game and averaging 12 rebounds as well. Uh, Colin Sexton, 17 points a game for him as well. Now the Knicks on the other side, just 2-7 and seven overall for the year. Last place in the Atlantic Division. They have the worst record in the Eastern Conference. The Knicks rank in the bottom three in scoring, bottom three in offensive field goal percentage. They're also in the bottom three in offensive three-point percentage at home. Bullock, Smith, Robinson all out for tonight's action. Alfred Payton is listed as questionable with a hammy. Uh, and total-wise, the Knicks are 7-2 to the under overall for the year, 3-0 to the under at home. The Cavaliers on the other side, 75% to the under on the road. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Cleveland plus two and the under 214 in that game. All right, next matchup. It is going to be Brooklyn taking on the Suns, 8 o'clock Phoenix. The Suns are minus 2.5, total 232 and a hook. We're seeing pretty good two-way action on this spread. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he's literally, like, I don't even know how he's not in the shot right now. He's literally right there. What are you doing? A ball. Yeah, that is a ball. That's a ball. Okay. All right. Have a good one now. Uh, anyway, Brooklyn taking on Phoenix in Phoenix, 8 o'clock. Uh, tip off in that game. The Suns are minus 2.5, total 232 and a hook. Uh, pretty good two-way action on this spread. Not a whole lot of movement there. We did see some movement upward on the total. Once again, Phoenix open 2.5. Uh, they remain minus 2.5, total open 232, up to 232 and a hook. 59% are leaning Phoenix, 63% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Nets are plus 120 on the money line. Uh, Brooklyn, 3-5 and five against the spread overall for the year. Fourth place in the Atlantic Division. Uh, Durant and Chandler still out. Uh, DeAndre Jordan listed as questionable for tonight's action as well. Not a good uh, sign for Brooklyn. Now, uh, the Nets rank in the bottom five from the line. Bottom five in points allowed. They're also in the bottom ten in defensive three-point percentage. Now, Phoenix on the other side, believe it or not, they're 5-3 and three straight up overall for the year. They're also 7-1 and one against the spread, really cashing for their backers. They're covering 80% of their games at home. They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 3 in offensive field goal percentage. They're led by Devin Booker, scoring 26 a game, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Kelly Oubre is averaging 17 a game, 6 rebounds for him. And Ricky Rubio, 12 points a game, 7 rebounds, 8 assists for him, nearly averaging a triple-double. Now, uh, total-wise, Phoenix is 6-2 to the under on the season, 60% to the under at home. I'm going to purchase the half a point, slide it down, and take the Suns minus 2 and the under 232.5 in that game. All right, two more games to go. It is going to be Hawks taking on the Blazers, 9 o'clock Portland. Uh, now, it looks like we got a good amount of guys out for this game, so uh, we'll get in that in just a second. But anyway, Portland uh, is minus 8.5, total 227 and a hook. We saw a half a point fade of Portland and movement downward on the total. The Blazers open minus 9, down to 8.5, total open 229, down to 227 and a hook. 59% are leaning Portland, 51% shaded toward the over. Right now, Atlanta is plus 340 on the money line. Allen Crabb and Collins are still out. Turner, Herter, and Hunter are listed as questionable for the Hawks. Atlanta's just one and five straight up in their last six. They also failed to cover in four out of their last five as well. The rank in the bottom five in scoring, bottom five in offensive rebounding. Uh, Portland is five and four against the spread overall. They rank the top ten in three point percentage, top three in free, uh, free throw percentage at home. Damian Lillard is averaging 33 points a game, five rebounds, seven assists. C.J. McCollum, 19 points a game, four rebounds, three assists for him. Uh, just a quick reminder, Hassan Whiteside and uh, Hood are listed as questionable. They may not play tonight, so keep that in mind. Now, total-wise, we're looking at a Portland squad who is 5-4 to the under on the season, 67% to the under at home. Meanwhile, Atlanta is 6-1 to the under for the year, 2-0 to the under on the road. I'm going to go ahead and lean 
Portland minus eight after buying the half a point and the under 227 and a half in that game. We're going to go ahead and slide into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Raptors taking on the Lakers. 9.30 Eastern tip-off in Los Angeles. The Lakers are minus 10, total 215 and a half. We saw a one-point fade of Los Angeles and movement downward on the total. The Lakers open 11, down to minus 10. Total open 216 and a half, down to 215 and a hook. 56% are leaning Lakers, 70% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Raptors are plus 400 on the money line. Now, if you like Toronto in this matchup here, Kyle Lowry is doubtful. He may not play tonight. And Serge Ibaka and McCall are out. They will not be playing. Uh, those guys are out indefinitely. Now, Toronto ranks in the bottom 10 in defensive rebounding, bottom five in defensive rebounding at home. The Lakers on the other side, 7-1 straight up overall for the season, 6-2 and two against the spread, 4-0 ATS at home. They're led by Anthony Davis, who's dropping 27 a game, 11 rebounds. LeBron James is averaging 26 a game, 8 rebounds, 11 assists. And Dwight Howard, the crafty veteran, he's pulling down 8 rebounds a game on average as well. The Lakers rank in the top 3 in field goal percentage, top 3 in points allowed. Now, total-wise, the Lakers are 5-3 and three to the under for the year, 75% to the under at home. Toronto on the other side, 3-1 and one to the under when traveling. I'm going to lean toward the Lakers minus 10 and the under 215 and a half in that game. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our quick pick recap brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page and Unky Brock. If you guys uh, skipped the whole video and you went right to the quick pick recap right now, uh, I am babysitting right now poorly. I'm doing a very bad job at, as uh, all the blocks are on the floor. He's trying to eat a fake toy banana and uh, Unky Brock not getting the job done. But anyway, uh, I like the Lakers minus 10 under 215 and a half. Portland minus eight under 227 and a hook. Phoenix minus two under 232 and a half. Cleveland plus two under 214. Milwaukee minus seven under 222 and a half. Orlando minus three under 204. Philadelphia minus 13 under 216. And last but certainly not least, I like Minnesota plus three and the over 217 in that game. All right, let's dive into some shout outs brought to you by Unky Brock and patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Saw Sensei Master Drip Lord. Shout out to DR, Chris Temple 66. Shout out to Vernon Williard, Justin I, Perfin Torsi. Shout out to Shotgun Shell 80, Alex CR, who uh, is offering help with my Spanish. He actually gave me some legitimate help with my Spanish in the last video. So Alex CR, we uh, appreciate that. Gracias, Alejandro. Uh, shout out to Urania Jimenez, Trevor123, Steve Puss Powers. <laughs> Steve Puss Powers. Uh, even the baby's laughing at that name. Uh, shout out to Lane Eternal Master, Iraq, Bo Dunn. And last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, Ronnie Christie. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do our Edición en Español. I don't know if I told you, I've been doing picks in Spanish. <laughs> and they've, been, they've been doing pretty good. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Edición en Español. Yo tengo Lakers menos 10 y los bajos. Uh, Portland menos 8 y los, baso, uh, y los bajos. Uh, Phoenix, El Sol, Solares, Sol, Phoenix, Sol, menos 2 y los bajos. Uh, Cleveland, Cavaliers, uh, con puntos. Cleveland con puntos y los bajos. Books menos, <laughs> menos siete y los bajos. Orlando menos tres y los bajos. Philadelphia menos uh, trece y los, ba y los bajos. Y Minnesota con puntos y las altas. All right, he's yelling poop. He pooped. I could smell it. He pooped at like the five minute mark in this video. And he then did. I said, did you poop? He said, no, out the rock. Hey, uh, you, you, you blamed it on. See? You blamed it on Unky Bach? No, Uncle Brock shit, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, you pooped. You. You, no. you, you crapped your pants. He said, I shit. Uncle Brock shit. 
I'll go browse. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page. We went 7-1 and one in our last eight board member package plays on that site. We're also hitting at 67% for the college football season. Uh, link for that site is in the description section below. We do a bunch of different tiers, memberships, and packages on that site, beginning at just $1.99 per month. Uh, a lot of folks ask, what's the difference between Patreon and YouTube? What we do on YouTube is we handicap every single game on the board. We formulate a pick and opinion on every game, side and total. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. If you bet that way, you'll never make money. You're going to lose a lot of money in your life. You cannot bet every single game, side and total can't do it so what we do on patreon is we really narrow down and focus on three to four premium selections per day they're my personal plays they're games that i personally have action on and i'll tell you this much our win percentage on patreon is a lot better than it is on youtube it's leaps and bounds better and if you want to check out my current record on that website it's right on the home page you can access it for free all you got to do is click the link in the description section below uh, that is patreon.com slash rock page now, uh, my nephew literally just threw a basketball high in the air, and it fell right on top of his head. And uh, he's okay. He's not concussed. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, uh, that's going to do it for Unky Brock. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my website. But most importantly, guys, i got to thank you for tuning in right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. I'm going to try to do an NHL video, uh, of course. Uh, the nephew is walking around with poopy diaper. He's laughing. He's looking up in the sky, laughing hard, and um, now he's running. Now he's running away, and he's hiding under the coffee table. So anyway, and he thinks it's hilarious. Uh, now he's jumping on the couch. Wow. Unbelievable. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me, uh, check me out on my website. I got to thank you for tuning in right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great information. Happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash rockpage. <laughs>